It seems the embattled mayor of the far left wing liberal city of Seattle, Ed Murray, has gotten himself into even more hot water than we had previously reported. Seems like this liberal sanctuary city promoting mayor's issues have gotten even worse during the past few days. If you recall, last month we had reported that three black gay men in their 40s had come forward accusing this degenerate mayor of the liberal mecca known as Seattle of having sex with them when they were homeless and underaged. The new accusation comes in the form of a handwritten letter written from jail. 44-year-old Maurice Jones said in a sworn court statement that he was introduced to Murray by Dalvin Heckard while he was a homeless teenager in the streets of Seattle during the 1980s. The sworn statement was given at the King County Regional Justice Center in Kent on Tuesday by Case and Lincoln No Regard, Heckard's lead attorney. But accused Murray of the same crime as the earlier three official accusations. The Seattle Time reports, the new accuser, 44-year-old Maurice Jones, said in a sworn court declaration he was introduced to Murray by Delvin Heckard the Kent man who filed last month's lawsuit claiming Murray sexually abused him as a teenager in the 1980s. Jones' declaration, filed in King County Superior Court, was brief, saying he had been to Murray's Capitol Hill apartment at an unspecified time and that Murray gave me money for sex. Julie Case, one of Heckert's attorneys, said Wednesday that Jones was in his mid-teens at the time. He recalls at least two instances when, as a teenager, Murray paid him for sex. Once at Murray's apartment and once in a car, she said. Jones' declaration added he was not part of any right-wing conspiracy and that he is gay reference to Murray's argument that accusations against him by Heckard and two other men are politically motivated. The handwritten declaration was taken at the King County Regional Justice Center in Kent on Tuesday by Case and Lincoln No Regard, Heckard's lead attorney. Jones, who has a lengthy criminal record, has been held on drug charges since late March in lieu of $15,000 bail. The document was prepared and passed through a glassed-off visitation partition to Jones for his signature, Case said. The declaration was filed in court along with a photograph of no regard holding the document, with Jones on the other side of the glass partition. Both men are smiling. As he has with previous allegations, a Murray spokesman vehemently denied the latest claim. As we've seen repeatedly from opposing counsel, this filing fits firmly into the category of sensational media stunt. Mayor Murray does not know this person. This is an ambush copycat false accusation that is being made without any details, evidence, timeline, or anything at all to substantiate its veracity. Mayor Murray has never had inappropriate relations with any minor, and Mayor Murray has never paid for sex, said the statement from Jeff Reading, the spokesman. Reading's statement added that the photo of Beauregard and Jones at the jail was extremely odd and unsettling. Beauregard explained in a separate court filing Wednesday the photograph was meant for authentication purposes. It clarifies that the document is handwritten because it was done in jail through a pass-through, sick, window, Beauregard wrote. My partner, Julie, told us to smile and we both did. We did not have a professional photographer available. Why does it always have to be the liberal Democrat pro-sanctuary city politicians who are always getting into these kinds of trouble? My guess is because in this particular case the good mayor might have wanted more victims. The more liberal the policies in a certain district, the more homeless, drug addicts and criminals you have. It's a proven fact. Just look up where most of the crime in the United States comes from. It comes from districts where they have suffered under Democrat rule for decades. Mayor Ed Murray must have seen the statistics and said to himself, more playtime for me. Yes, this man is that sick. Who knows how many more men will be accusing him before the justice system is able to sort this mess out. Mayor Murray has released a statement saying all this is a vast right-wing conspiracy. He must have talked to Hillary Clinton. But the new accuser, Murray, added that he was not part of any right-wing conspiracy and that he is indeed gay. In an attempt to squash Murray's argument that these accusations are politically motivated. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.